Well, just a quick short video here. I had intended to do a 1,000 subscribers a special. I reached 1,000 subscribers, so thank you to everybody who watches the videos and learns things and learns along with me, and I'm happy to help in any way I can. And that's the whole purpose of this channel, is to help educate people on how these monitors operate, how they work, um, so you can repair them yourself, just general, general knowledge, if a fuse blows, you know what to look for, things like that, just to help out the community in any way I can. Uh, so I intended to make a, a much longer video and a, a subscriber special and everything, but it turned out to not be <laughs> kind of viable because I wanted to, basically what I have here is a 27-inch uh, K7500. And I wanted to do a, a showcase where I, can, where I show that 27-inch is compatible with a 25-inch tube or 25-inch chassis is compatible with a 27-inch tube and how the 25 and 27-inch 7500 are completely interchangeable with each other when it comes to 25 and 27 inch tubes. Uh, but I don't have any 25 inch chassis, I thought I did. I have three K7500s, but they're all 27 inch. I'm like, oh, that kind of puts the kibosh on me being able to show both scenarios, 27 inch chassis on 25 inch tube and 25 inch chassis on 27 inch tube. So I don't have any 25 inch uh, 7500s. They're all 27 inch, the three that I have. But, so it's going to end up being much shorter, but basically just a quick video here to show that the K7500 is compatible about, across both sizes of monitors. So what I have here is a 25 inch 7500 tube, and as you can see, the image is full, uh, it's not too wide, it's not too tall, it's the correct size and everything works perfectly, there's no issues with it at all. That being said, this is a 27-inch chassis. Uh, as we can see here, uh, WGM 2775. And also here on the neck board, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but you've got 2775. This is a 27-inch K7500 operating perfectly on a 25-inch tube. Uh, the only difference between the two chassis, 25 and 27, is this little pincushion board right here. That is the only difference. The cap kits, the layout, the parts, the pieces, there's no difference as far as I'm aware and have done my research. There's absolutely no difference whatsoever between the 25 inch and the 27 inch 7500. Except for this little uh, remote board here. Um, or daughter, daughter board is really what it is, has two pots on it, and that's for the pin cushion. Now, pin cushion, all that it does is it takes your image and makes it round. It, it rounds off the size versus a square image. And if we look here, I can take this board completely out of the chassis, and it doesn't affect it one way or the other. So the only difference between, between 25 and 27 inch is this little pin cushion board. And as you saw, it's not even crucial at all. I don't think the 25 inches even have this board on there. But I've seen some K7400s with this board as well. So the only difference that I'm aware of between 25 and 27 is this pincushion board. And even then, it's not necessary for operation. Uh, so, yeah, you just adjust these two pots and it takes your image from being square. And it rounds the sides, if that's what you'd like to, like to see. But, yeah, just a quick video. I wanted to kind of showcase and do more detail, but because I don't have any 25-inch chassis, it's hard for me to do that. Um, I do have a 27-inch tube and I have a 25-inch tube that are both for the 7500, but without having 25-inch uh, model to put on the 27 to showcase the other side of this coin, it kind of put the kibosh on my whole plan of this video. But I did, I did want to show that the 27-inch absolutely works perfectly just fine with the 25-inch tube. And because of that, I'm 100% positive that it'll work the other way around as well. Um, so, as a matter of fact, let me go ahead and I'll just, uh, it's still running here. Just to show this properly, I'm going to disconnect the video, plug in the uh, test pattern generator, flip this to medium res, it's already is, I guess, and turn it on. And we can see here now that uh, for a better tutorial on the size we can do uh, you can see here we got each position uh, there's the black and there's the black and if I equidistance it and adjust the width you can see that we have 
the one inch black bar, the one inch black bar, if I string, uh, put more width onto it here. So there is a full width control. It is not too wide. It uh, acts exactly as it would on a 27 inch tube. Um, so right there's the edge and uh, right there's the edge. So we have a perfectly uh, sized width. And when it comes to the vertical, um, let's shrink our height. There you go. So there's your black bar. There's your black bar. If we increase the height, there is the edge. And there's the edge. So we have a perfectly square image. It's not oversized. It's not undersized. It's exactly the 25 inch uh, adjustment. So you can run, absolutely run a 27 inch 7500 on a 25 inch tube. And because of that, I'm absolutely positive that it'll work the opposite way as well. So just a quick uh, tutorial there on if you have a if you come across a 25 inch tube and you only have a 27 inch chassis or vice versa you can still use them on either one and it'll work just fine uh, i should in all honesty hook up b plus here uh, i didn't think ahead i should hook up b plus and just verify that uh, the b plus doesn't isn't affected by 27 versus 25 because i've already rebuilt this chassis uh, new caps reflow everything the whole kit and caboodle and I set the B plus to 117 at the time I actually had to replace the B plus pot as you can see I have a whole new pot on there no glue so it was adjusted to 117 properly uh, before I even did any of this so I want to make sure it's still running at 117 on the 25 inch tube because I did all this using the 27 of course all right so we're uh, grounds hooked up we are set to volts DC and if I touch my the uh, pin, there's a pin right there. That's where you test your B plus set on the 7475. So if I touch that pin and look at my voltage, 118.3, we're good to go. Close enough. And it's probably because it's an all white, mostly white screen here. So I um, wanted to post this as absolute confirmation without any detrimental activity here that you can run a 27 inch chassis on 25 inch tube and vice versa for the K7500. So, uh, yeah, just for posterity, if anybody has an issue like this where they have one or the other that don't match, 25 versus 27 or so on, uh, this will work. So, I uh, wanted to post that. Hopefully uh, it helps somebody out. And there's our RGB, glorious, beautiful RGB. This uh, tube is fantastic. So, that's about it. Uh, and as you can see, uh, if, I, if I actually if I uh, decrease the width here, uh, oh, no, that is, I don't know what that is. What was I moving there? Height. I don't want, okay, there we go. Let's do height and uh, width, I think, is over here. Yeah, there's width. Okay, so we shrink it down a bit on the width and we shrink it down a bit on the height. And let me install this um, pincushion board back in and see if we can spot the difference here. So I'm gonna put the camera angle right there and plug this back in, see if it makes a difference here. Uh, if I line it up, I gotta line this thing up properly. It's hard to see. I'll say roughly, let's just plug it in and then disconnect it. Okay, so there, there it's plugged in and hooked up properly. You can see it right here. If I just yoink, yoink it out here, let's see what it does. It does absolutely nothing. Uh, most likely because these are somewhat centered. Uh, if we were to, let's say, just kind of move these a bit. Let's try right there and right there. And now let's see what difference that makes. Oh, okay, yeah. So I'm going to take this and unplug it now. Um, it still looks rather square, but you can kind of see it's, it's bowed ever so slightly like this. It's kind of hard to see. So you can see that there's this gap versus this gap is much bigger. So if I was to just yeet this out of here again, watch what happens. Let's see if we can. Yeah, it's hard to tell. Uh, but that's what this, the purpose of this is, is to just kind of uh, square the image versus rotate it. Anyway, all right, as you can see, it works with or without it. That's all it is to do is to adjust pin cushion. So yeah, again, well, thanks for watching. Hopefully you learned something. 
and hopefully this helps you out in the future if you run into the situation this is a good solution you can throw a 27 on 25 and vice versa so appreciate it and we will see you next time